Hi, my name is Priyanka and I'm going to talk about importing ID numbers into PaperCut. So what are these ID numbers? ID numbers are just a unique way of identifying users. They are useful for logging into copiers, hardware terminals, and relay stations. It is just an alternate to username password authentication. These ID numbers are just set under user details page. Um, so for example, if I click on this particular user, the user's ID number is basically set on this page towards the bottom of this page. Um, so this is the field uh, which basically saves the user's uh, ID number. They, uh, a user can have two types of ID numbers. There's the primary ID number and the secondary ID number. There are various ways of setting a user's ID number. It can, of course, be done manually, but then it's going to be a tedious task because it needs to be done on a per user basis. PaperCut offers a range of tools for managing these ID numbers more easily. It can be synced via AD or LDAP, or this information can also be synced via a tab delimited file. And I'm going to talk about how to import these ID numbers from a tab delimited file. To create a tab delimited file with the username and ID numbers, what I'm doing is creating a CSV file or an Excel file which contains information about the username and the ID number. The exact format that needs to be followed to actually create this tab delimited file is given in our manual. Um, and this section of the manual basically talks about it. So the first field that needs to be entered is the username and then the primary ID number. And then there are other fields that you wanna import or you want to update. You can follow the same, um, same file format. For now, I'm just going to focus on how to update the primary ID number of a particular user. So here I've got the file and it's got the username and the ID numbers. So now if I want to save this file as a tab delimited file, all I need to do is file, save as, browse to the location where you want to save the file and just call it user user list card numbers you can call it whatever you want and all we want to do is that we save it as a text tab delimited file and once it's saved we'll be able to see that it's a tab delimited file so if we close this and open this file in a text editor such as notepad plus plus you can see that um, this is basically saved as a tab delimited file. Now I'm going to talk about how to import this tab delimited file into PaperCut or the information from this tab delimited file into PaperCut. So now to be able to import the information from the tab delimited file into PaperCut, all I need to do is run this particular server command and the format on how to run the server command is basically given in our manual. This is the uh, format that we need to follow. So the server command, the name of the server command and the location of the file where the location of the file is the file that we just created. Uh, that's the file name that we need to put, uh, put in here. So let's try to run um, a command prompt and try to run this particular server command to make sure that we can actually import this information. So um, I need to first of all, as you can see, go into that location where where the server command executable lives. So server we've got mf server bin win and then server command batch import dash user dash card dash id numbers 
and I need to figure out the location where the file lives. So it, I know it lives on the desktop. So we'll go to the desktop and see the location of the file. So this is the location of the file. Slash the user list card numbers, and that's it. Okay, so now we can go into the admin interface and see if this information got imported. So now we are in the user list page, and if I click on the name of this particular user, Aaron, and I want to see whether the ID number got updated or not. So here it is. This is the ID number um, that was mentioned in the text file um, here. So this is the number that was in the text file and the same number has been updated for that particular user uh, within PaperCut. There are various other ways of importing this information into PaperCut. Um, this can be done through one of these methods. Um, I would highly recommend you to look at them and see if they suit your requirements a little bit more than the uh, option that I have demonstrated. Um, so I would highly recommend you to look at these options. And uh, this brings me to the end of this tutorial. Thank you.